The Earth Moves. <sighs> huh? <laughs> How strange. Why is it winter on the other side of the world while it's summer here? What makes the seasons change? The answer is out there. Hmm? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I meant that the answer to your question is in the movement of the Earth in space. Since ancient times, by looking at the sky, humans have been able to orientate themselves and calculate the passage of time through repeating cycles. Day and night, summer and winter, dry season and wet season. But how do these cycles happen? Everything can be explained with three key concepts, rotation, revolution, and axis tilt. The Earth rotates on itself like a huge basketball on an invisible finger. This movement is called rotation. One rotation of the Earth is one complete revolution of the planet on its axis, and it takes 24 hours to complete. This is the movement that produces the day and the night. It is daytime on the part of the Earth that receives the energy from the Sun, while it is nighttime on the rest of the planet. The Earth always rotates from the west to the east. That is why we always see the sun rise on the east and the sun set on the west. In addition to rotating, our planet travels in an orbit around the sun. This movement is called revolution and occurs due to the force of gravity. Have you heard about it? The Earth takes 365 days to complete all of its orbit. Does this number ring a bell? <gasps> Ah! Exactly. The Earth takes a whole year to complete one revolution around the sun. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. And it is summer when we're closer to the sun, correct? <laughs> no, you're wrong. Seasons exist due to a third concept. The Earth's axis tilt. Yeah. The Earth's axis tilts is an imaginary line that goes through the planet's North Pole to the South Pole. The axis is inclined, and its inclination makes the sunlight reach the Earth at an angle that changes throughout the year. This is what produces the different seasons. Due to the Earth's tilt, one part of the planet receives the energy from the sun in a more direct and longer way than the other, providing the typical heat and light of the summer. This occurs between June and August in the Northern Hemisphere, and from December to February in the Southern Hemisphere. When it is summer in one hemisphere, it is winter in the other. And what happens in the spring and autumn? Is it also the opposite? That's right. Spring and autumn occur during the transitional months between winter and summer, when the sun shines directly over the equator, and the two hemispheres receive about the same amount of energy. But not all of the planet experiences the four distinct seasons. In the polar regions, there are only two, winter and summer. In the equatorial zone, there is a dry season and a wet season. The tilt of the Earth's axis, the rotation, and the revolution movement produce the optimal conditions for life on Earth. The way the sun reaches us during each season produces a change in the light, the weather, the seasons, and the duration of the day and the night. Aha! Rotation, revolution, tilt, it all makes sense now. Wait, not all. What about the moon? Why is every night different? Does the moon move? Does it orbit around the sun? Hey, hey! 